What's going on everybody? Jason here, the Money Hungry Picker. It's Saturday, it's absolutely beautiful outside, and we're going thrifting. All right, for those of you returning to the channel, thank you so much for coming back and watching. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing, hitting that like button, and hit clicking the bell so you can be notified when I come out with a new video. All right, so if you're new to my channel, I do have a full-time job, but I try to go thrifting at Goodwills and other thrift stores to resell online on eBay, Amazon. I try to go almost uh, every day if I can. Uh, to this morning, we're gonna start out. We're here at FedEx. I have to drop off a package. Um, this is a, it's a DVD VCR combo that I found in my previous haul video. I think it was the last one. Um, and it's actually the number one rank on Amazon. So it pretty much is sell as soon as it gets there. I did have to order the remote control for it, um, which was 20 bucks and then I paid 20 bucks for it, but I've got it listed for 150 on Amazon. So hopefully we'll clear like 80 bucks pure profit. I do have a question um, and I've seen this on a couple of videos. So feel free to comment and let me know what your thoughts are. So here's my actual box that I'm sending in. And it does have eBay tape on it, and I'm not doing, and I'm not putting the eBay tape on there to be disrespectful or anything uh, to Amazon. But this eBay tape is free, and if you resellers know, tape can get expensive because we use a lot of it. So, what do you guys think? Is it should I not do that? Is that kind of disrespectful to put eBay tape on a on a package going into Amazon? I mean, they are going to open the box. This is not how it's going to go to the customer. So, um, honestly, I've done it. A bunch of times and never Amazon's never said anything so let me know in the comment what y'all think all right let me get into FedEx get this dropped off and then I'll see y'all at the thrift store all right we've arrived at the first Goodwill Saturday I got my fuel let's get in there and see a wing find so here's what I found at the first Goodwill of the day and uh, it may look kind of small but there is some value in here that tie is actually a Donald Trump tie um, I found a stain on it when I was in the checkout, so I left it behind. So let's go out to the car and kind of talk about these finds. All right, so the first Goodwill, we did okay. Not too bad. Uh, here are a couple things that I found. I found this Atari, like a ballpoint pen. I guess there's a little game built in. When you see prices like this, don't let it deter you because you can tell this is some older packaging. Anything by, made by Atari, you probably, or got the Atari logo, you probably want to look up. That is an old price tag. Kind of flip it over. Um, these are actually selling uh, new on eBay. Looked like for like twenty-five or thirty dollars. So good little find, and I paid ninety-nine cents. Next one is this little canasta card game. Uh, it is brand new in here. Everything is sealed. Looks like these were actually selling for about $25, and this again was 99 cents. These are things that you might pass over thinking, oh, these aren't worth anything, but those two items right there, if I get 25, 30 bucks each for them, I only paid $2, so, uh, you know, easy money. This one right here is pretty neat. I'm gonna have to do uh, some more research. This is from the, uh, the Bradford Exchange, and it actually has this certificate in here. Sorry, I know I am making y'all dizzy. But it's from the Bradford Exchange it's called the Silver Scout Black Knight. It's actually signed and got a number on it. Um, I know the Bradford Exchange does make some really kind of high-end things. But these are look brand new, never used. I'm not exactly sure what it is. Um, let's take one out real quick. Hang on. Oh, wow, that's kind of cool. Is it a Christmas ornament, maybe? Yeah, it's a Christmas ornament. From 1997, Bradford Exchange. So, I honestly don't know exactly what these are worth, but I'm assuming, uh, you know, definitely more than the $3 we paid for it. And then the last thing we got is the Coca-Cola, rocking Coca-Cola Santa. So, um, so you got, so, I mentioned a few of my videos uh, don't ever walk by the Christmas section just because we're in April um, and think nobody's gonna buy anything uh, this one could set for a little while but you've got two things going for it coca-cola and Santa and he's obviously electronic it says he rocks and rolls to the tunes of jingle bell rock so 
This originally was $69.99. That's what the original price tag says. I paid nine bucks for it. I haven't done a bunch of research on it, but I know these dancing Santas and stuff like this can kind of fall off the shelf. Also, it looks brand new on the inside. It's still kind of taped to the box on the inside. So if it's brand new, I would think this could pull $70, $80 pretty easy. Maybe a little bit less. Um, just have to do a little more research, but yeah. So yeah, guys, overall, there were some decent finds. I was in there for maybe 30 minutes. Um, I think I'm going to go to one more Goodwill today and uh, hopefully we'll have some good luck. See you there. All right, so we have made it to Goodwill number two on this Saturday. Hey, are y'all like me and like when you're headed to a Goodwill, your favorite thrift store, like as soon as you see the sign, you start getting excited. And then when you pull in the parking lot, like you can't find a spot quick enough. And then once you do find a spot, it's like you can't get the car in park or grab your phone quick enough so you can get inside. I do have a thrifting problem. So if that's just me, that's cool. I'm just wondering if anybody else was like me. So anyway, this parking lot is packed. So let's get in here. Probably gonna be a lot of people in here on a Saturday, but let's see if we can get in and find something. See y'all inside. Why am I pointing at y'all today? Okay, so here is a audio video receiver that I found and I'm about to turn it on to see if it works. Um, these things you can't really test in the store and they are a little bit of gamble uh, and they're expensive. Uh, my Goodwills really don't have a return policy for electronics, which kind of stinks. And this thing was $20, but I'm into the kind of home theater equipment stuff. So this stuff intrigues me and I really enjoy selling it. So basically all I'm going to do is, is, is find a place to sit it on the shelf and then plug it in. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is just hit the power button and I'll wait for it to come on. That's a good sign there. Um, and then I'm just going to press a diff couple of different buttons and if it changes, we're good. This doesn't mean it's going to work. You really need to hook it up to some speakers to verify. But if you want to check one out quickly in the thrift store, just hit some buttons and make sure it changes. Okay, so here's the haul from this Goodwill. Got some books down there and some hard goods. I think we did fairly well at this one. Um, here's uh, the cases at my Goodwill and behind the counter. That stuff is usually pretty expensive. But yeah, let's head out to the car and break these fines down. All right, what's going on, everybody? Just got a, got up a Goodwill behind me, and I think it did pretty darn good. So we got this Yamaha HTR 3063. Uh, it is scratched up on the face a little bit. I plugged it in inside the Goodwill. Um, I think I actually took a video of that to kind of show you all how I look at them and test them, but they're selling anywhere between $100 to $200 almost on these. So I'll probably order the remote if it's cheap. Uh, if the remote's not cheap, I'll just sell it as it is, but I paid dollars 92 cents so um don't be scared of electronics i mean if you don't know a lot about them maybe like things like home theater receivers like this maybe stay away from but um you do have to do some testing on these but they can really bring in some good money and then shipping them is not as bad as you think especially when you're making some good profits so um you just gotta wrap them up really good and make sure they're secure and don't break in route so all right so stand by and we'll uh, look at the other stuff all right, so I picked up these three little guys right here, these Zootopias. They're they're only ninety nine cents each, and individually they sell for like ten to twelve dollars on eBay. But when you find stuff like this, here's what you do: you, you group these together. So we're in it for three dollars. Probably put it on there for like twenty nine ninety nine or twenty four ninety nine for all three, and uh, they're very lightweight. Um, all of them combined should ship first class. So yeah, not too bad. Just got to think outside the box when you find one of these only worth you know 10 bucks not really worth it by itself but if you find three that makes it worth it uh the next thing we found and i got to do a little more research on this one but this is a looks kind of neat <laughs> it's another christmas themed um it's an international silver company i paid three dollars for it uh it's probably silver plated if i had to guess but um, I did look it up, or I did look up that company. It looks like their stuff sells pretty good. So I figured for three dollars, hey, you know, not not a bad, uh, you know, not bad to try on. Never know what you might get out of it. So, all right, what else did we find? All right, so I thought this was kind of cool. This is like a little. It's pretty heavy too. It's got an inscription on it from um, Ernest Hemingway. And sorry, the plastic here is just keeping the top on. But you can store your pens and pencils in there. I thought it was pretty neat. It was $3.99. Um, I'll look it up. If it's not selling for anything, I thought it'd be kind of neat for my desk. So, because I'm always losing my pens. So, 
But yeah, I'll go ahead and grab that. All right, here is a pretty neat find. Let me take it out of this bag. Well, I think it's a neat find. We'll, we'll find out. So I think this is a pretty good find. It is a Michael Kors uh, watch. It was $5.99. As you can see, it's missing several... I'm assuming those are crystals or cubic zirconias. They're, I can almost guarantee they're not diamonds. But the person that wore this had to have the smallest man wrist of anybody ever in the history of wrist. I mean, look at that. That's like crazy. Um, and the reason I bought it was because I looked up Michael Kors watches and I am not a watch expert. Matter of fact, 99% of the time, I don't even look at the watches, but I was at the checkout counter, which was conveniently by the case. And I saw this and I know Michael Kors is a good brand. I looked it up. Looks like his watches sell for over a hundred dollars. These bands of course can be replaced. So, you know, I'm in it for, for I think it was six or seven. So yeah, I don't think I can go wrong with this. If any of y'all know anything about watches, if this is a pretty good find, let me know. Um, if not, I still don't think I'm going to lose money on it. And uh, all right, so let me show you the books that I found. It's just a couple. All right, so I've only found three books in there, but my, uh, my book tip, uh, if this is your first time watching my videos, be sure if you have Goodwills in your area like I do, which is 99% of the thrift stores I go to are Goodwills, what I do is when I scan books, I only scan the ones that were put out that week. Um, we have a ton of book scanners here in Georgia. And when I come in, I don't want to scan hundreds of books and 90% of them were already scanned. So if you'll ask your Goodwill employee what tags, what color tags they were putting out that week, um, they'll, they'll tell you. And then you can just scan those books because you know those books would have been put out this week. Uh, and if you don't know, Goodwill changes their color of tags on Sundays. So I always go into my local Goodwill on Sunday so I can check out the tag uh, that's going to be uh, the one for that week. Another little tip is most of the time the tag on Sunday that changes is whatever was 50% off the day before. So whatever that previous week was 50% off, that's usually the new tag that goes out the next week. But still want to check it to make sure. So this week my Goodwills have been putting out yellow tags. And so the first book we got here, this one actually sells for $50 on Amazon. So that was an amazing find. Um, here is uh, some sort of uh, textbook. And actually I found two textbooks. I found both of these. They're both brand new, still factory sealed. I guess that'd be factory sealed or factory wrapped. <laughs> um, so the thing with Amazon recently, they've started from what I understand, restricting a lot of people on textbooks. They're getting very, very strict on who can sell those. And I was restricted on both of these, but that's why you sell on multiple platforms. eBay, it looks like both of these are going between 30 and $40 each. So those three books right there, over a hundred bucks. All right, it has been a great day uh, thrifting on this Saturday. Um, I'm done for the day. I gotta get back and get some stuff listed on eBay. I need to get another Amazon shipment. Uh, to go in, but I really hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you do uh, enjoy these type of videos, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, do a twirl, jump up and down, whatever you want to do. Uh, let me know that you enjoy this kind of stuff, and I'll keep uh, I'll keep bringing these videos to you. I hope everybody has a great week and happy reselling.